there is a chill that comes over you. This place is haunted. You see a lot of ghosts when you're here. You see a lot of unexplained things. Ah! There was a daughter. She placed a curse on her family. The more you learn about the Becker family. Slit his throat. Took his own life. Shot himself. Took the whole family down into the caves. Can't see a damn thing. And their bizarre history. He was horribly disfigured. You should see that thing. You really don't want to be at an old Becker brewery. Ourselves? Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking about that. Right, Wait, who are you? Who are you? Who, who are you? For like I'm me? Megan. This is being on TV. This is being me. Ah, who, who are, are you? you? I'm Scout. Scout? Scout. 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 My girl Scout. I guess I better believe in ghosts. I mean, I'm probably going to be experiencing them tonight. So I should probably be prepared for that. I'm Mark. Mark. Good God, I'm gorgeous. I thought of a good answer to the question of what scares me. Can't see a damn thing. It really scares me, the fact that people listen to and like Limp Bizkit. Say your name? <laughs> oven, like oven with a P. I've always been superstitious. I wear the same socks, same underwear if I have a good day. What is that noise? Oh! We're yeah. investigating. We're yeah. just investigating. We're not here to get freaked. I hope to become more strong when it comes to certain things, like spears and ghosts. I don't really believe that they can harm us. Okay. I'm Mark, who are you? Mark, I'm Rex. My name is Rex, 22 years strong. You know, trying to see if I could hang. I don't know where we're going. I could be going to an abandoned warehouse. I don't know why it's haunted. Somewhere really scary. I'm here to hunt down some ghosts. I am extremely superstitious. I walk under ladders. From knocking on wood. I let black cats cross my path. To not stepping on cracks. I think 13's a great number. I'm pretty nervous about the whole situation. I'm gonna prove this to myself. I hope I'm not a quitter. Oh, God. Now find the black pouch. That would be that right there. There we go. Inside are six colored patches. Each of you pick a patch from the bag at random. Oh, it's purple. You will be identified by these colors. Oh, oh good. I've already broke a stance. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Ask God to spot you. That's the only way to escape when the devil got you. You got to. What's going to happen? It really doesn't exist. I think it'll be interesting. All right. Ready, kids? Oh, yeah. Watch the tape in its entirety. Welcome to the Becker Brewery. Originally opened in 1853 by German immigrants, within 60 years, the entire Becker family fell victim to suicide or murder. Marcus Becker was a master brewer. He uh, came to America. He became fabulously wealthy. His son, Frederick Becker Sr., took it to even greater heights. There was a daughter who was a pagan witch in Germany. She placed a curse on her family. The Becker family had so much wealth, but there was so much spite and bitterness and jealousy, especially between the brothers, Otto and Frederick. And one day, Frederick Jr. pushed Otto up against this mirror, and one of the shards slit his throat, and he died. After uh, Otto came to his violent end, Frederick Sr. went into such a depression and really didn't want to deal with anybody outside the family and eventually took the whole family down into the caves. After living so long underground, their minds just started escaping themselves and they started literally going crazy. The suicide started with Frederick Sr., who was sitting at his desk down here one day and shot himself in the head. Frederick Jr. took his own life just as his father did. 
Spirits who are the outcome of suicide can be very tortured souls, and that seems to be what has happened here. You see a lot of ghosts when you're here, you see a lot of unexplained things. When Frederick Jr. took over, he uh, ruled with an iron fist. His family and all the employees at the brewery were frightened of him. Freddie raped a servant girl. They tried to get a black market abortion, which was gruesome and mutilating. And it was too late because the baby was born. Not only were her insides mangled, but the baby that she carried was affected. Out of that union, there came one entity, and he is called the Monkey Boy. They called it Monkey Boy because of the most disfiguring of his facial features. This is the cage where Frederick Jr. kept his illegitimate son. I have had indications of him from orange eyes looking back at me to breezes going behind the back of my neck. There is evil down there. There is a chill that comes over you that cannot be described. It's not a place for the faint of heart. Your objective over the next two nights will be to determine whether the brewery is haunted. Your investigation will take you to several locations where paranormal activity has been reported. The ballroom, Great Hall, and the storage vault. You must begin now. Good luck. Dare one, team member, yellow. Dare one, yellow, investigate the ballroom. White will navigate. The biggest chicken goes first. You're fine. Yeah, it's good to go first. Right. Oh, I'll we'll take Sian through this. I think she can do it. We'll see. Looks like we're all gonna get cozy. Oh, yeah. That's my fear. Ghost. Just yeah. swallow it up and walk. Make yourself walk it. Good luck. You are a scientist. Then your death or The whole family seemed to have been swallowed up by the caves. I've seen a lot of ghosts here. It's not a place for the faint of heart. All right, what do I do? Proceed down one short flight of stairs. OK. I've been down in those caves. They're scary. They're definitely haunted. And never, ever will I go again. Ever. Oh my gosh. And go down another short flight of stairs. Yeah, open the door. Open the door. I can't do this. Just think about Freak it. Freak it out. I can't, I'm, I can't even walk down the stairs. My feet won't let me. I don't know if it's scared, if I'm scared of myself, or if I'm just scared of what I'm going to see, but I'm scared. When it's us in that position, we're going to be feeling the same way. Yes. So don't think it's just all you. I don't know you well enough to give a whether or not you do it or you don't. Really? I can't do it. Right. Sorry, guys. I would really love to spend 24 hours with totally you, but cool. I can't. It's, it's right. totally cool. I'm scared. Our okay. placement has been randomly inserted. Purple must complete the dare aborted by yellow. Green will navigate. See you guys. Yeah, Rex. You? Yeah. Oh, Do I still I'm really down? glad Rex is going. One down, five to go. As soon as we walked in, I just felt like so cold and like goosebumps and I just felt a bad vibe. I just felt like I shouldn't be there. Man, let's do this. We're gonna rock it. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably this one. Walk straight and locate a sign on the archway in front of you pointing to building 12. Copy that, I got it. I'm through. <gasps> Dare two is up. Blue and red, investigate the great hall. Green will navigate. Oh my God. No! Oh! Oh! The two girls get to go together, which is really good because then one of us isn't left it's alone. Hard. All right, guys, no bugs. Let's rock. All right, make sure you don't mess us up. We'll kill you. Oh, my God. I... Walk straight only a few yards until you reach the first doorway on your right. 
Locate a staircase leading down on your left. Stop at the top of these stairs. Got it. You must wait here. I copy. Walk down these stairs. Do you copy that? Good luck, honey. We can do this. Mama. <laughs> All right, let's go. I knew you were going to make me do it. Piss. Hello? Purple, that would be you, Rex. Copy that. What's next? You're gonna walk straight from the doorway. You are going to turn left and enter the ballroom. Okay, copy that. Frederick Jr. was very spiteful, very selfish person, and did not like the fact that Otto was going to take over as heir for the business. Otto and Frederick Jr. had a little scuffle. Otto was slammed against this mirror, and a shard slit his throat. He is very much here, housed in this mirror. Okay, where am I at? Go, where do I go now? Uh, from the box you have, you're going to take out glasses and gloves. You're going to put them on. In a moment, you're going to stand and face the mirror on the front of the first column on your left. Slowly recite aloud, Otto, come forth and avenge your death. You will then smash the mirror in front of you. Man, this is whack. He is very much here, housed in this mirror. <sighs> Let's do this. Avenge your death, Otto! Come on, bring it! Yo, hello? Hello? Walking into the big room, copy. Locate the third row of pillars from the right. The third? All right, where do I go? Stop after the sixth pillar. Ah! I did it. You should be by Monkey Boy's cage. Is that where you are? Hold on. Come in, over. I'm here. This is the very cage that Monkey Boy died in and where his bones were found. Poor soul. Freddy had been accused of fathering a deformed child with a servant. He was horribly, horribly disfigured by a botched abortion. The child had been locked away and doesn't seem to quite know it's dead yet. I have had indications of him from orange eyes looking back at me to uh, flashes of light. Many paranormal investigators have distinctly heard the cage rattle and shake while exploring this room. I'm coming back up. You can do it, Megan. I don't want to do this. I'm coming back up. Hello? Shut up. Copy me. What's the deal? Am I supposed to leave or what? Exit the ballroom. Return to the safe house. All right, I'm going. I'm going back to the safe house. Red, you there? Yeah, it's fine, honey. I didn't do it. Are you sure? I cannot. You should see that thing. What is it? Oh, it's absolutely terrifying. And no one's touched it since. I'm not going to be the first. Did you feel anything? Did you sense anything, man? A couple times I felt the cold chills, you know? Yeah. And they say usually that's a ghost or paranormal activity. I can't help it. I'm scared. 
guys, I suck.